So we have another heat option for our chicks that came in the mail today. Um, we went with a Titan incubator. It's a brooder hen. It is a heat plate and it's made in the UK. Um, but it was very fast shipping on Amazon Prime for like $50. We wanted to get away from the heat lamps because they're an obvious fire hazard. And what I didn't realize is we got our electric bill, increased it by $20. Because most electric companies charge about $0.12 cents an hour. So you're running a 250 uh, watt bulb out there. It kind of added up. Well, these bad boys only run at like 20 to 22 watts. Um, depends on which make you get. There's a couple different companies that make this but I chose a UK one um, it's very easy to assemble all you do is when you get it out it's got these four little posts on it you stick through and sh uh, can adjust by a little nut on the bottom and you plug it in it takes one hour for it to heat up to optimum temperature for the chicks and it's more to mimic the mama hen so these chicks see how they're out and about and they're happy um, they can come and go underneath as they allow rather than a heat lamp I noticed it's like just even hot throughout the whole brooder they're not getting any temperature fluxes so this more mimics them going in and out for mama it's supposed to help uh, promote feathering a little faster and without having that bright glaring bulb on in them even when you do the red bulb it still agitates them so supposedly this is supposed to produce calmer chicks is what the last research article I said either way I'm going with it because I'm a cheap girl and I like that it's going to cost me less now the setup is pretty simple once you get it all plugged in one hour to heat up you want to put it from three centimeters from your pine so that's one inch for us um, I might adjust it a little bit this little fella here, one of my little Easter acres, is a bit big in his haunches. He's having trouble getting under it. A lot of people will tilt it, kind of like a, you know, 45 degree angle, so you have different uh, heat temps underneath it. So I might try that. I'll see how stable it is. But this is their first time under it. All you have to do is kind of scooch them under the first time, and they pitch it up real fast. So all these guys are already out, and I have a few underneath sleeping. It's really hard to see, but... My Americanas are under there schnoozing. But uh, if they're hovering around the edge of it, that means it's too hot and you need to erase it. If they're huddled straight in the center, then that's also something to watch. They might need to lower it so they stay warmer. You can actually touch the bottom of it. It doesn't burn it. I've seen, I saw some videos where chicks were burned from different plates. So obviously that's going to be something I watch for this brand. However, I didn't see any complaints like that against it. And I can touch it and it doesn't burn. It is warm under there. Um, it runs about 100 degrees. We have a little uh, heat sensor thermometer we test under there just to keep an eye on because this is my first time hatching babies. So hi babies. <laughs> I hatched these little guys out of my... Janelle 12 and I got eight out of nine so pretty successful hatch I've got some three Americanas and three Easter acres and then two copper rands that were crossed with my Americana rooster so these will be all of acres so this is my hubby's new little brooder too I have to show off his mad skills it's kind of hard to tell I might do a separate video on that but they're happy and wanted to show how easy it was to use and it's another alternative because there's so many instances of fires on those heat lamps. So just giving you another option.